Iran News Now Iran wants a bomb. If you aren't startled by the mounting evidence that Tehran is rapidly moving forward with its nuclear objectives, you must be employed by the Biden administration. Recent reports indicate that U.S. and Israeli officials hold the belief that Iran is allegedly working on computer models needed to construct a weapon, while the UN chief nuclear watchdog acknowledges that the Islamists are unimpeded diplomatically. If true, the Axios reported claim regarding Iran's potential computer modeling would indicate the regime's seriousness about creating a bomb whenever it wants. Iran is reportedly hoarding 142 kilograms of 60% enriched uranium which the international community is either aware of or can reasonably estimate, according to a recent United Nations report. Once it decides to take action, enriching the uranium to a weapons-grade level is simple and fast, Ayatollah Ruhollah Musavi Khomeini, the revolutionary leader of Iran, assumed the role of supreme leader in December 1979, marking the beginning of the Islamic Republic of Iran IRI, dictatorship. We ratified a new constitution based on Islamic principles. On the subject of foreign policy, the constitution proclaimed its commitment to assist the just fights of the downtrodden against the oppressors worldwide. The U.S. and Israel were named by the new dictatorial regime as the main rivals that would prevent them from accomplishing their aim. The administration has openly demanded death to America and death to Israel because they see America as the big Satan and Israel as the little Satan. This amounts to a call for the genocide of America, which is 90% Christian, and Israel, which is 80% Jewish. In their quest for global dominance, the IRI established a plethora of terror proxy groups. The government swiftly formed the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps, ISRG, which currently boasts over 200,000 active members, to safeguard the government from both internal and external threats. With the help of over 15,000 operators, the IRGC established the Quds Force in 1988 to illicitly project power overseas. Consequently, this organization quickly established a web of proxy terrorist groups across South America, Africa, and the Middle East. With 100,000 in Iraq, 50,000 in Lebanon, 40,000 in Gaza, 25,000 in Syria, and 30,000 in Yemen, the total number of operatives is approximately 250,000. With the help of 100,000 narco-terrorists and 150,000 cultural terrorists, Iran sent over 500,000 proxy agents to various parts of the world, including Africa and Latin America. This global terrorist organization employs every one of the seven major weapons of war, cyber, cultural, economic, legal, and chemical-slash-biological-slash-arson warfare. While Israel is at the forefront of the conflict, moderate Sunni Muslim nations and Hindus, along with the United States and the rest of the Western world, are threatened with subversion and invasion by radical Islamism led by Iran. A variety of Islamist and progressive left groups, along with Iran's Sunni Muslim Brotherhood affiliate, orchestrated recent disturbances at over 200 schools across the United States and hundreds more in Europe, Australia, and other regions. Campus and street protests in cities large and small are being financed by extreme left financiers, as well as Qatar and Turkey. Students, teachers, and companies owned by Jews and Christians alike are in grave danger from this rebellion. At the same time, Iran is hell-bent on creating nuclear weapons and intercontinental ballistic missiles, ICBMs, to threaten its neighbors in the West, Europe, and the Middle East. China and Russia provide support and funding for Iran's covert actions. Despite our lack of awareness, we are already squarely in the middle of World War III. If the democratic West wants to avoid enslavement and annihilation at the hands of Islam and communism, what should it do? Many options are available to the West. 1. Sanction Iran's oil sales till the country goes bankrupt within a year. 2. In order to bring about a regime change, it is necessary to fund and promote internal subversion among Iran's half-population that does not identify as Persian. 3. The United States ought to consider the Islamic Republic of Iran IRI, a global terrorist state and endeavor to shut down all of its foreign embassies, cultural centers, and enterprises, censor its television and radio broadcasts, and deactivate or freeze all of its social media accounts across the globe.
4. The United States, the United Kingdom, and Israel should destroy the Iranian Navy, nuclear facilities, weapons manufacturing plants, oil refineries, oil terminals, ports, and cyber capabilities. If you want to succeed, you need to use all of these tactics. The Islamic terrorist threat is rapidly expanding, and our leaders must take immediate action to protect Western civilization. Being careless is risky and reckless.